At the Walter Reed Army Institute of Research, we have created a family of adjuvants known as Army Liposome Formulations, or ALF, and the most potent one is ALF-Q. This is unique because it was created at RARE, it was created by RARE scientists, and the United States Army owns the IP and there is a patent. The alpha adjuvants um, have a very good safety profile in human clinical trials, and they also make very strong immune responses. We have recently improved manufacturing, so it's much more easy to make the alpha adjuvants, so that's an, another advantage. A vaccine consists of an antigen, which identifies the, the specific disease or danger that is being encountered by the body. The adjuvant then mobilizes all of the troops that, that generate an army of reactions that come in. Without the protein, the adjuvant couldn't do the work. So it's a, it's a formulation. We have done a lot of preclinical studies in our uh, laboratory as well as in collaboration with other scientists and uh, we compared it with aluminum salts as the adjuvant and we were so excited to see a very high robust responses with ALF-Q compared to aluminum hydroxide. And this was done with several different antigens with malaria antigens, campylobacter antigens, other uh, dengue and uh, HIV and so we are really very excited about HIV antigens and we feel that uh, this would prove to be a very effective vaccine for HIV which would be beneficial not only to the soldiers, uh, their dependents and veterans, but it would also have a global impact. ALF is being used in multiple clinical trials and I'm very hopeful that ALF will eventually end up in a licensed vaccine, hopefully for HIV, but certainly maybe for some other things. Currently, ALF-Q is undergoing two phase one human clinical trials with uh, two different malaria antigens. And it is also going to be tested uh, with the coronavirus vaccine, which is called Spiffin, developed by rare scientists, and ALF-Q is going to be used as the adjuvant in the phase one trial, which is going to start very soon. Next year, it's going to be used with um, three different HIV antigens, as well as with a diarrheal um, vaccine, Campylobacter, um, and it has got tremendous uh, possibilities to be used with several different viral, bacterial, parasitic um, uh, antigens. And so it's going to be extremely useful to the entire rare community and to external collaborators. Alpha is a result of basic research. When I brought it into rare, I had no interest or idea of how this might be used to benefit mankind. But I knew that, I knew that this was a new field a new concept, it was new technology, and so we had to know all about this new technology that I did believe eventually would have a lot of benefits and a lot of effectiveness. I'm really hopeful that, that ALF will end up in a vaccine that will be used for to fight diseases in the world and for military personnel.